we have a big boy muley here. Very sweet. Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're going to be checking out the very best, crazy, and amazing hotspots here in Parquet Fernando. We're going to be checking out the best spots for every species on the map so that you guys can better find trophies, better find whatever it is you need to hunt for more quickly. Now we have a really nice muley here. And where we are right now, guys, this is actually the main Muley Lake. Now, unfortunately, the lakes in Parquet are not named, so I'm just gonna have to give them names for today's video. So this is Muley Lake, this is Stick Lake, this is California Lake, and we will name them as we go. Now, this lake is amazing, as I mentioned, for muleys, but it is also really great for red deer, axis deer, pumas, cinnamon teal, and black buck. You will find quite a lot of black buck around this lake. This muley definitely needs to die. That's not the one! No, I shot the wrong one! All right, it's okay, it's okay. Lady is tired. Oh, I got him! I got them both! So after each segment, guys, I will pan out and show you exactly where we are hunting just to make life easier. Now, your map won't be exactly the same as mine, but you should have animals in very similar spots. Oh, he's nice, 222.5. So my very favorite spot on this lake is actually the bottom right here. We're gonna head down there and see what we have going on, but usually that is where muleys and black buck love to congregate and you can find quite a lot there together. Now the nice thing about Parquet Fernando is animals drink at the same time. This has been changed on a lot of the maps, but not yet in Parquet Fernando. So you will find a lot of animals as you hunt. And there he is, 269.7. He is an absolute beauty. And that was a pretty sweet shot on the trot. We will take it. Okay guys, so now we can actually have a peek at the end. We have another really nice muley. He's not max estimate, but there are quite a few mule deer here. I don't seem to have any black buck right now but there are often a lot of black buck down here but definitely check down here and I have shot a diamond puma from this location as well. Now if you are doing a red deer grind in Parquet you definitely want to check this lake for red deer because they do drink around this lake as well. So well, that is a great spot to check. Okay guys, I'm very quickly gonna go over my inventory for when I am hunting in Parquet Fernando. So I usually carry with me the 300 for water buffalo, the Solikin, which is a class three to seven rifle, and I do use that for black buck and for axis deer, which are both class three species. I have the Virant 22, and yes, I do pick that over the Zarza 22 because I really, really do prefer to have 10 shots, and that is for cinnamon teal. And then we have the Zarza 10 308, and that's gonna cover red deer, muleys, and pumas. And then I do carry my collars with me. I tend to use them more here in Parquet than on other maps because it is so thick here. So I do have the Antler Rattler for Black Buck, the Axis Deer Collar, the Bleak Collar for Muleys, the Distressed Fawn Collar, and that is for Puma, and we do have the Red Deer Collar. Then I do carry the Apex and the Gen Zero Binoculars. That is my full inventory for Parquet. Now I do have 23 kilograms worth of space because I am using the Pack Mule skill, which I do highly recommend. Three extra kilograms and no additional sound when you are running around. For our next hotspot, guys, we are now at California Lake. Now, I'm not sure how much it actually looks like the state of California. I didn't name it, but it's just for ease of reference. Now, this lake is awesome for muleys, red deer, puma, axis deer, and black buck, and there are cinnamon teal here as well. Now, I find that the bottom is really, really awesome, and I have actually shot some trophy muleys from the top as well. Now, the other side can also be good, but it is very, very thick, so I tend to hunt the right side more than the left, but it might be worth putting a tent on the other side, but I do highly recommend you do put a tent here to hunt this lake because the closest outpost is way over here at Casita del Ushena, so that is where I have my tent. Here's a quick tip for you guys. If you are looking for your very first diamond or an easy diamond, definitely check every single cinnamon teal. You are looking for a level three. They are definitely one of the more easier diamonds to find in the game. Just when you're hunting, just check every single duck and you will eventually find a level three cinnamon teal. They can go diamond at level two, but just not as often. Okay guys, it looks like I spooked out some muleys here, but as you can see, there are all kinds of muleys, nothing big but we do have quite a few, and over here we do have some black buck drinking. But as you can see, sometimes they are really hard to see because it is such a thick map, but you definitely want to check the very end of this lake. So that is California Lake, so that is a great spot to check. So when you would like to hunt for water buffalo, guys, here in Parquet Fernando, the coast is where you want to head. I haven't even been able to get out here. I just left the outpost 
and I've already spooked out a whole bunch of water buffalo. There are just so many of them along the coast. Now, you will find water buffalo around some of the lakes, not all of them, but the coast is absolutely littered with water buffalo. Now, along the coast, you will also find muleys, some pumas, you will sometimes find cinnamon teal, but not nearly as many as water buffalo. This is their definite hotspot. Now, when you are hunting for water buffalo, it is a good idea to be ready to be attacked. Pop that scope off. Pop, ooh, ooh, there you go, there you go. Oh, look at the speed, that is just inhumane. But the coast, actually right up here near the top is where I found my albino diamond water buffalo on Xbox two years ago. And most of the diamond water buffalo that I have ever shot have come off of the coast. Now, when you are hunting water buffalo here in Parquet, I often do set the time to 7.30 in the morning. That is their feed time, but you can also set it for after 10 or 10.30. That is when they start to drink. Either one of those times is gonna work for you. They're gonna be here either way. And we got a vital. Beautiful. But the trick is when you're getting attacked, try to keep your eyes on the water buffalo and run backwards. And that is the best way to stay alive. Come on, drop buddy. There we go. And right long, 138.1. Okay guys, the next hotspot that we're gonna have a look at right now is Stick Lake. Now this lake is excellent for every single species on the map except for water buffalo. Okay, so we are here at 1020 in the morning and we have all kinds of red deer traveling. They love to drink around this lake, although their drink time is done right now. You will also find lots of muleys, axis deer, cinnamon teal, pumas, and black buck around this lake. There are some muleys right there. Now this is one of my very favorite lakes for level three cinnamon teal. I have shot many diamonds off of this lake. They just seem to show up on this lake quite often. You can't spot the entire lake. It is that big. It's just not gonna render. Now I find this little corner here. Always check here before you start barreling because lots of different species love to drink right tucked away in this corner here. I have seen axis deer zones here, red deer, black buck. It's a really great spot for them to tuck themselves away in. And I think my very first diamond red deer ever came out of this zone right here in Parquet. Very long time ago. So as I'm running this lake here, guys, now we have a monster black buck here. We do have a black buck drink zone right beside a muley drink zone. That is a beauty. We're gonna take that one for sure. Ducks are right out in front. So lots of animals around this lake. And there he is, there he is, all right. And splat, we got him. But yeah, if you do check this lake early in the morning, between five and nine, you're gonna find all kinds of herds of axis deer and red deer, and you will find pumas, but the pumas like to spook everything out. Very nice, very pretty. Look at the size of him. Double lung with the Solikin, 130 meters, and he's a 117.2. So he's a pretty nice one. Guys, if you are enjoying the video so far or finding it helpful in any way, take a second and smack that like button. It just lets me know that you are enjoying the video and it also lets the algorithm know. So thanks guys for that and we're gonna continue. But definitely check out Stick Lake. I would hit here between five and nine and again between nine and 12 to hunt for absolutely everything, just about everything on this this map except for water buffalo. You will not find water buffalo around this lake. Okay guys, so we are now at what I like to call Ice Cream Lake. Now this lake is at the very bottom of the map on the right hand side and I do highly recommend dropping a tent here. Closest outpost is way up here at Casita de la Negra and we're here just after seven in the morning and there are just a pile of axis deer here. Now depending on what time you come here, you're gonna find axis deer, you're gonna find a lot of water buffalo. They really like this lake. There's another huge herd of axis deer, black buck, muleys, red deer, cinnamon teal, and pumas will all be at this lake, depending on what time you hit here. And there are some water buffalo there, and there are a whole bunch of cinnamon teal. Now I have pulled many trophies off of this lake over time. It is definitely worth having a peek at Ice Cream Lake. Okay guys, the next spot we're gonna have a look at is this lake right here, which I call Acorn Lake. Now the outpost is called Casita de Cristal. I wouldn't even bother putting a tent here because the outpost is really not that far away. And we do have all kinds of water buffalo over here. Holy, what is that guy in the front? A mythical. Now mythical water buffalo can score a diamond. I definitely need to take care of him. Oh, fleeing? We must have, yes we do. We have a puma and pumas will even spook out the water buffalo. Now we also have a great big herd 
of Red Deer drinking here. So definitely check here when you are doing your Great One Red Deer grind in Parque Fernando. Now this lake always has just an insane amount of ducks on it. And if you do come here later in the morning, you will find a lot of mule deer. This is a really great mule deer lake. And there is another red deer zone, a single stag zone with a beauty seven. Now I find that the muleys like to be up right at the top, but I have actually seen several diamond mule deer shot right out of this zone right up here. Well, that is acorn lake used to come. Okay guys, so now we're at this lake right here and I actually call this lake Puma Lake. There are a lot more than just pumas here, but the pumas love to drink around this lake. So we have Axis Deer. Right now we are actually here at 726 in the morning. Axis Deer are here. I actually have four Red Deer drink zones around this lake. There is one big herd. It's really hard to see, but it's right in there. Look at all the Red Deer. Now one hazard of hunting in Parquet for Red Deer is the Pumas are gonna spook your Red Deer out quite regularly. Now usually there are more animals around than you notice because they are very hidden. I did just pick up a level seven Puma here somewhere and now I can't find it. This lake is also awesome for muleys and for black buck when they're drinking in the second half of the morning. And there's our puma. Okay guys, we have found a level three cinnamon teal. All right, there is our duck. Here we go. And we got him. Beautiful. And he doesn't look like he's piebald, unfortunately, but that's all right. And we do have a diamond cinnamon teal 4.6 on the nose, so he just makes diamond. So that is Puma Lake. And I do have a tent there. The closest outpost is Casita de Mendoza. So definitely drop a tent somewhere around this lake. So there you have it guys, those are some of the very best spots to hunt in Parque Fernando and I really hope that does help you guys out. If you are new to the channel guys, be sure to hit that subscribe button, click the like button and ring that notify bell and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Take care guys.